and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Ultimate Legend Saturday drops. So, we're going to check out who it is. Obviously, you guys have probably seen out the, the, the pre-releases already. I obviously see them, but... You can't always go off the pre-release. Sometimes the cards may look decent, but in-game when you're actually looking at them with the behind-the-card stats and you stack them up, sometimes it makes a big difference. Like, certain linebackers, they might not look too great on the back of the card, but when you look at, like, or like an outside linebacker, you look at their zone, their their jump, and you see a few things, you're like, okay, that card actually stacks up very well. So it always just really depends. You can't just go based off of what you initially see or the names because sometimes the names don't always stack up with the stats either. I mean, sometimes they do, but they don't always do, so they don't always just base it off that. But we got to check them out for ourselves. Ultimate Legend Saturday, as you guys already know, two Ultimate Legends get dropped every Saturday, plus an LTD Legend. LTD Legend really isn't that expensive as it used to be. I'm not going to lie. LTDs do not go for as much as they used to be. It's just, it just isn't the case. I don't know if it's because people just don't play as much, but you'd think because there's less people getting them, they'd be up. But I guess there's less people also buying, so kind of, and everyone already, you know what it is? Everyone gets the 99s already, and like 99 stats, so there's really like no benefit of that LTD, so you have to like, they, they just, they're not that overpowered. Only reason you would want them is that they made like a Lawrence Taylor LTD where you needed it. That'd be more of like the case. As you guys see right here, Jalen Ramsey down to about 480k, which for an LTD, guys, that's super cheap. Now, as far as today's legends, you guys might have saw in the pre-release, we got Green, Gale Sayers, and I believe there was one more. It's not going to come right now. But, guys, before we get into the video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for all the support, even in this time of Madden, where we're getting a little bit of content. We do have the free agency promo coming up, as well as hopefully the path to the draft near the end of March. So, still got some stuff to look forward to. Got to start pre-recording some videos, because I will be out to LA in approximately eight days. So, definitely got to get on that grind real quick before we end up, you know, being a week off. So, I got to get to that. But, for the time being, guys, I am super excited for today's Ultimate Legend Drops. Hopefully, I like some of the cards. I can pick some up. Have some coins to burn. Hopefully, there's something to burn it on. Now, let's check out the sets to see if they are in-game yet, because sometimes these do take a while. You know, I, I'm really confused. I always wonder why Ultimate Legends, which should be the quickest thing in the game, always seem to take the longest, which is weird, because, like, they're preset, they're already pre-made, they're just sets. You'd think they'd be a little bit easier. Let's see if the packs are in the store yet, and that should be. That's usually a good determinant. And the bundle is here. we got the 6x Fantasy Ultimate Legend bundle, plus a 92 overall player. Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack, 180k. Guys, the issue with this year Madden is going to be the price of this Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. In my opinion... That is way too much money. Like 180k, that's crazy. Think about it. Ultimate Legends right now go starting at about 200k. So this pack determines states, if you pull one, it's almost the price of an Ultimate Legend. You'd probably be better off buying the one you want. Now more than likely, you won't get it in the first try. So let's say you have to pull at least two, which is still an amazing ratio. If you're pulling one every two packs, that's amazing. Every 50%. 50%. Even then, 360k, you'd have to pull the best Ultimate Legend just to make a profit. You have to pull one of the newest and best ones. You literally pull 80% of them and you're still going to lose coins there. I really don't think that these packs are worth it in my opinion. I wouldn't recommend it. But, I mean, if you guys are pack guys and you're doing it for the video, I, like next year for the video I'll be doing it. But for now, like when I'm not doing it for the video just yet, I'm not at that point yet. I don't really see it as worth it. But let's head on over and go check them out. I believe they were 96, 97s like usual. I don't know when the overall is going to update. I'm hoping that they start updating the overalls going into probably next week. Introducing some 98s in there, even if it's just one or two. Would be kind of cool for them to start doing. Let's go to newest and let's see if we got any yet up. It'll probably take a while. These ultimate legends always seem to take a while. And I really, I don't, like I said, I don't understand why. But they usually do. Let's check the sets one last time and then we'll be right back. If not, and they are up actually. So we got Otto Graham. That was what I was again. 97 overall quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. He played a long time ago, guys. Black and white picture. He usually has the leather helmet with the no face mask. I used to always think about that. Imagine not wearing a face mask. I've been hit pretty hard in the head playing football. Imagine being run into head to head with like knee, knee to face, or like elbow to face, shoulder to face. Like a lot of things could really hurt. I don't know how they did that. But I mean, that's probably why Face Master introduced pretty short after. Kevin Green, off the top, he was the guy that I was like, you know, don't always base him off the stats. He might actually end up being ass, but I'm saying like, don't always just base cards off the stats because you never really know. And the next one's going to be the LTD Gale Sayers, of course, which, like I said, that card could be really good. We have to see the stats, we have to compare it to Saquon or. Any running back in general, and really just see where he stacks up against them. It really comes down to that. At the end of the day, right now, you can really power up anything to anything you want. So, 
if you can if you can get him even close to another running back, it ends up being preference at that point. That's the beauty of this part of Madden. A lot of cards are just preference. Like, who do you prefer? Because at the end of the day, they're all going to be pretty similar. Why am I filtering by the combine? Do not know why I did that. So let's check out newest, and if not, we will head on out to go wait until everything's up to show you guys. And Kevin Green is actually up. So 97 overall left outside linebacker, Kevin Green. So let's stack him up. 89 speed, 91 excel, 93 strength, 91 tackle, 93 play rec, 86 block shed, 94 power move, 98 finesse move. So, so far, guys, not going to lie, people thought he was ass, but in terms of my team, a way fast upgrade over Von Miller, way more excel, way more strength, way more tackle, Similar block shed, way better finesse move, way better no power, way better finesse move. Now here's where things here thing here's where things get interesting. So let's compare the speed and let's compare everything. Oh, let's compare everything. So let's see. Coming on down to what I'm gonna need to know. The jumping is kind of low, but I can deal with it. What I really care about is gonna be zone. Now if he has a decent zone, 61 zone. So he has no zone. So realistically, he's kind of like a wanna be. He's kind of just like a pass rusher, which for a pass rusher, maybe you're better off going other places. But that speed combined with that finesse move, it's probably one of the best speed route, speed like rushing combos at outside linebacker. So it's really not horrible. The only thing I wish we could have with this card would have probably been a better zone because he could have been, if he had some zones, this card would have been pretty amazing. That's what I'm saying. You can't really base this card. Like everyone thinks 89 speed's horrible. It is. But in terms of left outside linebackers, he's not horrible in comparison. And I believe he is the only one up right now. We'll refresh one more time before we go and be all right. Yeah, we'll be right back. Gale Sayers is up on the block finally. Let's check out his stats. LTD card. Still waiting for Otto Graham. Surprisingly, this is up beforehand. Now, Gale Sayers, speed guys, super, super, super good. His nickname was the Kansas Comet. Guys, this card's looking really solid so far. Now, let's see everything. So, he's going to be 97 speed, 96 excel, 96 agility, 90 carrying, 75 catching, 97 looseness, 82 tr trucking, and 95 bird tackle. Now, I don't have Saquon fully powered up to compare him to, and I think he's, oh, compared to Kamara, he's not much better, actually. Besides the speed, but let's see. So, in terms of stats, right, because you got to compare him. So, he'll get to 99 speed. That's a given. That's fine. He'll get so close to 99 excel, which Saquon actually, I believe, does have 99 excel already. So, I really, I know, he'll get to like 98 excel with Sprinter. So, Saquon already has 99, so that's already better. Agility is going to get to like a 98, 99. Cowering's only going to be like a 93, 94. Catching's going to be like a 78. Lucifer's going to be a 99. Break tackle is going to come close to a 99, if not a 99. So, guys, this is going to be very comparable to Saquon Barkley. They're both going to have 99 speeds. They're both going to have close to 99 excels. If not, they're both. The only difference between Saquon is that he's going to have very low carrying in comparison. So, I think Saquon Barkley still takes the cake here. As well as in strength category, Saquon's a lot stronger. Now, it's going to come down to the juke and everything, the juke and the spin, which stiff arm 85, spin's kind of low, juke's 96. Yeah, Saquon's definitely better than this card. Although, the scale Sayers is really good. I'd still rather stick with my Saquon Barkley. Although, maybe for a gameplay, I could try him out. I'll think about it. But, gotta be sticking with Saquon Barkley. Gail Sayers is super solid, though. Not gonna, to be honest with you guys. Now, it's Chiado Graham, which not too excited for entirely because, obviously, it's a, it's a quarterback that's not going to be too great. But, let's compare it to Patrick Mahomes. So, he's got 84 speed, 94 throw power, 90 short accuracy, 93 medium accuracy, 86 deep, 96 deep accuracy, 95 throw under pressure, 93 throw on the run, and 82 play action. So, worse speed than Patrick Mahomes, worse throw power by a lot, worse short accuracy by a lot, worse medium accuracy by, say, it'll be tied and powered up. Better deep accuracy, worse throw to pressure, worse throw on the run, and worse play action. So he's kind of like a wannabe Patrick Mahomes. He's slightly mobile, just like Patrick Mahomes is, and he has good passing stats. But in my opinion, not good enough. I'd rather have, I don't like those in-between quarterbacks that are decent at passing, decent at running. I want either really good at passing with running or really good at running with passing, with some passing. You know what I'm saying? Not, in my opinion, autogram is not really that great, but guys, it's about it for the players. So that is about it for the video today. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy today's Legend Saturday videos or the Legend Saturday video with all the drops, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Come join the family, boys. All you joining now, it's all good if you guys would end up dropping off because Madden 21 is going to be fun. You guys will be here for then, so don't worry about it. Come join now so you guys are ready for all the bangers in 21. And for the rest of the year, of course, I have some pretty cool series coming, some pretty good ideas. But guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's videos. I will have another video out today. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be yet, but definitely ch uh, ch check it out. It'll probably be around like 3 p.m. been doing two days. You guys already know that. Uh, as far as the Legends today, will I pick up any? Gale Sayers, I may do a gameplay with depending on the situation, as well as Kevin Green may be a pickup depending on the other outside linebackers because I cannot be. I've been rocking Von Miller since like August 7th or August 8th already. I think it's time to make a change on that front. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video and the next video today. If you guys did enjoy, like I said, thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys need any help with anything. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Enjoy your day. Peace.